Hello and welcome to the Molar V8 Tryhard Tourney featuring Dream Fucking Team vs. Salt City Academy. Salt City Academy lost their first week game while Dream Fucking Team came out on top. Uh, Rick, I'm casting here. I'm the Weeb King. And I'm casting here with Eliminator. Well, yeah, say hi, Eliminator. Hey, everybody. Hey, and we're going to try to get you through this game as smoothly as possible. Um, we're not jumping into champ select yet. Not sure what's going on. Here we go. Right back into the good old solo queue. Draft and ban phase. Um, Rick, do you know anything about these two teams? I know you've played a bunch of them in in houses. So do you have any insight to uh, give out? Uh, looks like Inburglar's going top. I played a couple in houses with him the other day, so it'll be good to see him again. I played some with Furious Purpose, so I think just the ELO gap, Furious Purpose is ahead, top lane. Mm -hmm. So I would expect that matchup to go that way. Um, I like the Darius ban because that's what he was trying to play all the time, top lane. So get him at least off his most comfort champions and he might be able to have a chance. Oh, definitely. Dream fucking team also takes out Echo from the player Loderone on uh, Team Salt City Academy. That's their mid laner. That's his most played champion. That's his comfort pick. Followed also by his second favorite champion, Lissandra. So Dream fucking team is really trying to ban out the enemy mid laner and get Bacon ahead of this lane. And uh, I've seen Boost's success a little bit. Um, it's pretty high ELO as well, so I imagine he would be making uh, some plays on that team. Yeah, I think he's plat 3 or plat 2. I've never seen him, but obviously the disparity here, you've got a, like a plat 2 support versus the uh, plat like 3 or 2 jungler. And arguably the jungler has a lot more impact on the game. Uh, here we have Team Salt City Academy picking up Lee Sin for Homicidal undoubtedly. It's one of his favorite jungle picks. He showed it week 1, and while they came out with a loss, it looked very promising. I uh, always forget that you can trade uh, in, in tournament drafts. So I was just like, what is he doing? Is he going top lane Lee Sin, which can work. Oh, the wild card pick. Here we've got Nami locked in for O Scholar, aka Scholar Mike used to be his old IGN. And we have Boost's Success locking in Vi. Now that's a very interesting jungler. She outputs a ton of damage and has a really significant ultimate. How, how do you feel about her, Rick? Do you, is she like, would, where, where does she fall on your tier of junglers? So I didn't really like Fi for a while, um, especially since I thought that her early game jungling was weak. Oh yeah. But um, like you might die in jungle, but I think there's certain paths that you can survive in jungle. And I played against Barefoot enough to think that Vi's like good enough. But he, oh. he's made he's made me a believer that Vi can be playable. <laughs> oh, 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 oh man, I'm not gonna make the pun. I'm gonna stop myself. All right, <laughs> Team Salt City Academy locking in Rumble here for the I'm Burglar. I really like this pick because the I'm Burglar was exclusively stuck on Shen for like the first two games, and honestly, I felt like they were just not utilizing their player there. Uh, so Rumble, I like it. It's a much more aggressive top lane pick with a really impactful ultimate. So it's, we'll see if he can perform. And they also take Morgana. That might be a mid lane pick, but I strongly suspect that's going over to Yuna on Beauties down in the bot lane. So my, uh, under so my understanding of like one of the weaknesses of Rumble is that his ultimate is one of the longer cooldowns of all top laners. So like other top laners might have a 10 to 15 second. A gap where they can all in the other champion, get their ult mm -hmm. off, and be able to win the 1v1 uh, if you time it right. Loderone here, looking like Beauties is hovering a Victor for him. Victor's a really good, strong meta pick right now. He's considered the best team fight jungler in competitive well, team play. Um, right. And Tr Savage X2 locking in his Trisana, which he got the first. No, he did not get the first pentakill. He got a, like a quadra maybe in uh, the week one game. So it's going to be exciting to see if he can shoot off those fireworks once again. And Chicken Little dropping the Young Misfortune pick. This is a... a playing ADC a little bit, I don't mean it. I don't play it a ton, but this this pick is really strong. She she does a lot of damage in lane. Uh, she brings some decent utility with Make It Rain, and her ultimate will just destroy a team fight if she gets the whole thing off. 
Yeah, I would like to see like maybe Vi go in, everybody collapse on Vi, then maybe a J4 misfortune go in, kind of oh thing. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a very spicy pick if Aiken locks in this rise here, because it's undoubtedly going mid lane, because uh, I've never seen Furious Purpose play rise. <laughs> So this, this is a very interesting champ with a very fun ultimate to watch, because if they can get that off and get Vi and Jarvan right into the back line without even the Nami wave needing to initiate, uh, it could cause a lot of problems for Team Salt City Academy. Yeah, I haven't seen much good Rise play, which has been talked about a lot uh, in the world. So to see that ultimate use in a good way would be exciting, but the last second switch over to Aurelian Soul. Aurelian Soul. Now, if there's ever a champion that I that will sneak up on you and do a lot of damage. It's it's that big dragon right there. Well, he doesn't sneak up on you, but the damage he puts out when those balls start smacking you in the face, uh, very surprising. I, w I would say he sneaks up on you. He, comes, he jumps over walls. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. You just have to ignore the giant stars always around him in the fog of war. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, typical summoner spells being taken by everybody. Teleport in the top lane. Obviously, junglers have smite. Ghost for Aurelian Soul. TP for Victor. I prefer Ghost on Victor, but the teleport might help him just during lane phase. Get back there. Um, and typical spells for the bot lane. Um, thoughts on the lanes, by any chance? Uh, just, you called out the TP on Victor. Like, if I'm not confident in what I'm going to do mid lane, I'll often grab teleport because I might lose some CS early game, but then I might be able to roam, get a kill, teleport back, my lane, and then get the CS that I was behind. Oh yeah, and even if you are like a, a wave behind the person, the moment they recall, if they don't push in the wave correctly and get back to lane in time, you can deny a whole wave, so it's it's almost as if your inadequate CS in lane was made up for by the fact that you have teleported and they do not. So, the, the next question that I would be looking at though, so I see double TP on blue team, but it's double AP, and you usually don't have strong AP split push, so I'm wondering how that's going to work with a J4. Like, if they could do a, a 3 one, one that would really stress out the map, make it difficult for Red Team to react. But if J4 gets going, Virilion Soul gets going, are those AP champions really going to be able to uh, split push viably? Oh, yeah. I, I definitely agree with that, because in the 1v1, Jarvan can undoubtedly beat a Rumble if that ultimate doesn't fall in the right spot. Of course, Jarvan can has that two, uh, the double-edged sword with his ultimate. It can one trap Rumble, but also it can trap him right into a Rumble ultimate. But I believe he can, he can cancel it pretty quickly, though. And walk oh out. yeah, he can he can drop the wall almost immediately. But then Rumble can also drop out. So yeah. there's a there's a trade off there in this situation. He, he's got to know he's gonna win whatever he's going into. I, I kind of like the the uh, idea. It's like. Uh, when J4 ults in, or are you trapped in with him, or is he trapped in with you? Oh, you don't know until the health bars start dropping, that's for sure. Um, definitely gotta give the winning lanes here for Red Team are, are top lane, obviously with Furious Purpose. He's a very strong solo laner from what I've seen, and he also has the low difference on I'm Burglar. Um, jungle, it's hard to say, because you had a Platinum Jungler versus a Gold Jungler, but this is undoubtedly Homicidal's most comfortable champion that he's been on. And Lee Sin right now is, is fairly strong, I'd like to say. He's he's not the god tier at which he once was, but definitely a, a decent jungler right now. Just falls off the game for sure. Um hmm. Do you play any uh you don't play much mid lane, do you? I mean I'll play I'll play a bunch of Annie. Oh yeah. Good young Annie. How I does have, she do I into uh, how does she do into soul? Is that alright for her? What, Annie in mid lane? Yeah. And she's just good because she can farm. And if we're looking at farm, I mean, Victor and Rilly and Soul are just uh, hardcore shovers. They'll clear out the minion wave in a couple seconds. Mm -hmm. Rilly and Soul has a little bit of the advantage early, or like the first couple levels. But then once Victor gets the upgrade, uh, he'll be able to clear the wave just as fast as Rilly and Soul. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. Wow. 15 seconds, and we're going to get right into load screen to look at some sick skins. Have you played any of the uh, Doom bots yet, Rick? No, I have no, no idea. No, oh, you gotta try it. Cause it's, it's absolutely a blast. I mean, watching the enemy bots turn into little Timos and then you know going vulnerable every four seconds, and uh, it's an unforgettable experience. 
or I'll have to give it a look. <laughs> Definitely. And then watching a giant Satan Teemo spawn out of mid lane. He's like bigger than Baron itself. Glorious. Never seen anything so beautiful yet. All right, here we go to the load screen. Once again, if you missed the introduction, this is the LOL RVA Tryhard Tourney featuring Team Salt City Academy versus Dream Fucking Team. I'm the Weave King, casting with... Uh, this is uh, Rick Austin, and I am Eliminator. Oh, yeah. Featuring our premier, Trindamir Diamond Jungler. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, trying to learn the new jungler, so you guys can ban <laughs> quit banning me out. <laughs> Yeah, how's that been going? I know you've been uh, playing some Nocturne. I know Jax is under your belt as well. People still are pretty afraid of that. I want to I want to break out the uh, the Annie jungle, but Marco tells me that's a bad idea. Want to break out the Annie jungle? Uh, is that clear pretty well? Do you like do you take Molten Shield at level three, and does that does that help you out? Or? I mean, you can take it level two. It's pretty good. Um, oh, okay. Level two. So I imagine you're taking a lot of auto attacks. It's like having a Grump buff at all times, right? Yeah. So that's nice. All right, we got Bewitching Morgana being busted out by beauties, and holy cow, they gave her a generous rack for sure. That is like center of the picture. Dragon Trainer Tristana busted out by Savage X2, and River Spirit Nami over on Scholar Mike. These are all some really pretty skins, but we got a lot of people just rocking the classic. A Soul, Misfortune, Vi, Rumble, Victor, all of the going going faker on us. Don't need no pretty skin updates. Those Man, are all, the only skins I have. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go, onto the rift. I'm not expecting anything too juicy from everybody's buys. It's probably going to be pretty standard. Do you think there's going to be an invade coming in by one of these teams? Right? I mean, if I'm on a Morgana team, I usually like to invade just because that Q is such a fantastic snare. Uh, does it start at 2 seconds or 1.5? I it's can't remember. between the two. So, I mean, yeah. it's still it's still a really good length of time. And I, if, I think... I think it goes 2, 2.25, 2.5 as, as it levels up. I could be wrong. Here we got a nice look at Bewitching Morgana. That's a cute little hat she has. Ping is coming out by red side. They know exactly where they want their wards. They're coming out strong. Dream fucking team wants probably just a defensive setup here. And it looks like Vi might be starting red side. Nope, she's going to right, go down to blue. Pretty standard uh, item starts, so nothing too fancy. Oh, yeah. I, I do see that uh, Lee Sin went the refillable potion, whereas Vi went the health pots. Um, so Vi should be a little bit healthy, a little bit more healthy out of the jungle. And he's saying earlier that she might have a low health jungle that helps having the uh, health potions. No, I, I have my own ref I have my own opinion on refillable potion. Um, what, what is yours, Rick? I don't like it just because all of the champions I play can like naturally heal and it, or not take <laughs> damage. Exactly. I, I feel like after I buy three potions on uh, most junglers that I play, uh, especially Lee Sin, after that point you you almost don't need to buy any more potions. So you might as well just start with three and that that be the three that you buy for the game basically. So the refillable loses its value. You know, because I, I I don't want to be recalling back again to fill up this refillable, quote unquote, per se. Uh, I want to be backing for different reasons, and filling up that potion is not one of them. Standard starts going out here by starting on her Grom. Leeson starting right at his red buff, taking a little page out of your book. <laughs> I oh, think yeah, I, so... I saw a couple LCS teams doing it too. So, uh oh, maybe 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 <laughs> they're also watching your games. Yeah, right? of course. Are you getting scouted? Rumble starting with his he E here. This is a sign of Rumble. Like I take E when I don't want to fight really early on or push my lane. And I think this is a very smart move by the Iron Burglar. Oh, look at Lee Sen doing the invade. Uh oh, he's going in here. I think he oh, got what? spotted out by a ward here. Relly and Soul coming over to check him. Looks like they're going to get into a little skirmish. The Q goes down. Level one of Relly and Soul getting the red buff, beating up so on him. Lee Sen used all of his abilities, and he's like, okay, I'm done. I got the damage. There's nothing else I can do. I'm just going to go back now. Mm -hmm. So Vi here, knowing she's safe, she's going to go right on over to Wolf Camp. She's opting for the full clear here. And Lee Sen is going right over to his blue buff. So he skips two camps and just going right into the buffs. Um, I don't really like to see that start as a jungler, unless I'm scared they're going to get stolen away. What do you, what do you think, Rick? What does I that mean, do I, I, I like that he put the early pressure in, but, uh, 
I, I don't I don't really care when I take my red or blue. Ooh, nice binding landed down bottom, and but it's returned the... by a bubble, and here comes some poke right back onto Savage. So positive trade for red side here because they have Nami who can heal, while Morgana obviously can. Yep. Um, I, I like to put those tam those tamps. Wow, well, I like to put those camps right onto timers. You know, right as you're done. So as as Vi is gonna clear through her blue side here, go up to red. If she chooses to back after her full red side clear, then she can go right back down bottom side and pick up those camps. While Lee Sin is going to be, he still hasn't like put these camps on timers yet. So well, while they're going to be up, he hasn't gotten any of their goals. Here's the reverse, though. Lee Sin could go straight to Wolves right now, then go to the Wraiths, then go to the double golems. And then he could recall, recall and go straight back up to the Gromp. So I guess he, you're right. He doesn't lose anything here. Just kind of some time running around. He finds Vi, though, looking for uh, this level 3 fight. Like I don't think losing. he wants it. Vi is punishing the hell out of him. Hit a Vault Breaker, and Lee Sin Ward jumps out. Bacon, though, responding... Going a little too far past his victory, but he doesn't have much mana. They can, the star's coming out. Peg down Victor a little bit and both sides back off here. I like that um, Victor rotated up, but uh, Lee Sin's falling behind in a uh, farm right now, 15 to 7. Oh, and yeah. now Vi's getting to a point where she can 1v1 Lee pretty, pretty oh, well. And Vi knows he's low, comes into her jungle, but Lee very wisely smarted his wolves. That has actually become one of my favorite buffs to smite, especially on the enemy side. Definitely. Because <laughs> uh, as soon as they walk into their own jungle and see that little wraith following them, they're just like, my camps are all gone. <laughs> you can, and they know I'm here. You can see Lee Sin has the opportunity to start catching up. I don't know what he's doing. Is he going in for the mid gank? Uh, looks like he's kind of low for this. He's spotted out by a war. He's just going to get pinged and walk away. Red team is on their vision game so far. Like, everywhere Lee Sin has wanted to go, there have been wards. Mm -hmm. so this is very nice. I don't know if it's either good scouting by Red Team just or just predictability on Holmes's part that has made this happen. But right now, he's he wants to get someone ahead, but it's not happening. I'm Burglar, push up in top lane, 6 CS down, only 4 now. This might even, this might actually get a little worse, though, because he just pushed a big wave up onto Jarvan. So everything's kind of going pretty, pretty, pretty safe right now. Tristana's looking pretty low. Sitting that little under a half with... She still has her biscuit. Hasn't popped it yet. Where do you want to like see? Oh my god, speaking of this first game, Bacon flying down the bot lane. The spirit bomb is going to go wide. Savage is going gonna to W out. He's going to eat a binding and a pool in return, but Nami's going to heal him right back up. What I like uh, seeing right there is uh, Vi was picking up uh, Scuttle Crab. So now she's got two Scuttle Crabs on Lee Sen, mm -hmm. which is uh, great for map control. It also helps really in Soul after he ganks or on his way to gank, so he can get back to mid lane. Doesn't that thing give like 70 gold too? It's pretty fat, right? Yeah, and it uh, it gets bigger each time you kill it, so you get more gold after each kill. Really? Okay, now that was something I didn't know. I kind of noticed later game it would give 100, but I just thought it was like, I'm like, maybe it was always giving me 100. Okay, fun fact. The more you know. The one thing I would like to see is when Aurelian Soul is planning a gank, I would like Vi to like be ready to follow up. Um, that last gank bottom, Vi was uh, taking Scuttle Crab. So if they could have uh, gotten a little bit more in sync, uh, it might have increased the probability of a kill. Might have been a little closer, because they just see a Vi, and may maybe, maybe Tristana chooses to auto-attack once, and then all of a sudden she sees the souls too, and before you know it, it's too late. Rally and Soul here pushing a big wave here on low to Roan. The CS lead is going to be in Victor's favor here because of that Roan. He missed a wave. Uh, things are going really steady here. No 1v1 attempts by anybody. Uh... As expected, Fury's purpose pulling ahead in CS lead over Rumble. Bot lane is sitting pretty even, actually. So, good job, Savage. It seems like top lane, they're not trading at all. Um, it's just passive farm. Vi's rotating farm, up right? top, though, with a pink ward. They might try an all in. This is going to be really dangerous for Rumble. Because while he is level 6 and he does have flash, he's he's pretty squishy champ early on. That Scrap Shield does not do that much. Who's 6 of 6 goes in for the gank, but it looks like Rumble spots him and just kind of walks away. So I think they know Vi's top side. Rumble's going to go maybe ward over this bush or ward river. Ward the blue side entrance to protect. I'm disappointed Rumble's. that Vi, after that gank, didn't get Skull Crab. <laughs> um, and the jungle path that she just chose, she missed out a lot of time. There was no farm camps to pick up after that gank. So um, it wasn't a very efficient pathing. No, no, no. Kind of just one, like, I think might have, maybe, maybe, maybe Fury's purpose called for, like, hey, I have ultimate, I have kill potential with you, let's, let's try this. 
It doesn't pan out for anything. So we both kind of got junglers just kind of... Everyone's just farming right now, which is good for... I want to say it's good for Dream fucking team. Because they have, like, Soul gets into a really nasty monster once he finishes his GLP item. Vi gets really nasty with Warriors, Triforce. Um, That's really funny that Dragon's killing Aurelian Soul right now. <laughs> it is ironic. Did he start it? Looks like Vi's no, gonna go Lee, over Lee Sin, to... No, Lee Sin queued it over the oh. wall. <laughs> and Aurelian Soul is watching bot lane. Like, Dragon, I'm gonna go Dragon. fight. Oh, and now nasty Red... little fight here. Chicken Little opens up with the ulti. Savage is gonna have to burn heal to walk out of it. So he landed a really nice bubble here to start that off. Nami did. And Savage is not... Not respecting that, and too far away from his support to get a black shield, so he just takes a ton of punishment. Finally pops that potion that he's been sitting on. Uh, both AD carries, though, have a ton of gold here. So, this first back is going to be big for both of them. Expect BF sword pickups, along with maybe a uh, damage item or a dagger, and of course biscuits. Alright, so like 20 seconds before that fight just happened, Vi and Aurelian Soul were right there. I really and, felt like they could have killed And they up. just left. And <laughs> yeah. So I don't, I don't like that now, like, after the fight broke out, after Red Team is pushed in, Aurelian, Soul, and Vi are back in bottom. And oh, I, I just feel like... here. Gonna it catch was... out Victor. Vi's gonna flash in for the Vault Breaker. Drop the ultimate down, and First Blood goes over to Aurelian, Soul. He's gonna get double ulted, flashed on, flashed on, and just locked down into Oblivion. And so there's the danger of Vi and Aurelian, Soul, level 6. Uh, if you get caught, you're, you're probably gonna die. There's, there's like... Three and a half seconds of CC down there with a ton of damage here. Here he's purpose looking to trade, but really no damage, nothing meaningful to trade between the two sides. And Dragon started down by Dream fucking team. This is the Ocean Drake. Nice little sustain for the jungler. Vi will be happy. It'll keep her mana pools up. And it looks, it looks like any response here from blue team. Homicidal lands the Q. Can he pull off the steal? Does he want to? He goes in. Red team has slain the dragon, and Holmes is going to pay with his life. Not today, Lisa. Not today. I'm Burglar, looking like he's in a little bit of trouble, falling to half health, Furious Purpin is just whacking away, drops the ulti, and there's the flash from I'm Burglar to whisk him to safety. Now he's got to respect Garvin here. Smart ult here to get the wave, he's probably going to just recall and teleport right back in. Now, I think that went so poorly for Rumble because Jarvin had an item advantage. He had already backed, bought, and teleported back in. So that was a nice, nice, nice uh, awareness by Furious to know, hey, I can I can win any fight with him. I have a Hex Drinker now, and a Longsword, and Boots. Like, I have a ton of stats over this guy because he hasn't bought. Now's my time to uh, be a little aggressive. So I, I was just going back in time a bit. I wanted to see what happened with Victor. And as I thought, he was just kind of being reckless and in moving into the river. Um, I, I don't think there was much point in him going the path that he did. Um, him being an immobile champion, um, he doesn't have ghosts like Aurelian Soul does. You can't just follow Aurelian Soul into the river like that, especially if his jungler might be near. It was uh, just a little, little reckless. Mm -hmm. Oh, beauty. Oh, Savage getting caught by another bubble. He does not have heal to get him out of this one, and he will barely hop out of there. Um, do we know what Keystone Mastery and Misfortune took? Oh, Aurelian Soul here. Finding Lee Sin doing Skull Crab is going to just knock him off it. You know, I really like to take uh, Deathfire Touch on Misfortune. I don't know if he took it. He might have taken, like, Fervor or Thunderlords. Oh, here comes the gank top side. Boost his success. Was hiding in a bush. Drops the ultimate on ooh, Rumble, and he is just going to die before I can even say much. No flash on Rumble. Nice gank top side. Oh, wow. That was some really good communication. They knew Rumble's flash was down. They knew he could take him. Do you think this is going to be a first tower, Rick? Um, if Lee Sin stays, we'll see. Doesn't look like it. Vi looks like she's already started her recall. It, she's I mean, just it, was, head it, out. Was, it was full health when it started, so... Yeah, that was a good amount of damage there for her. Initiative shown by Dream Falcon team here. It looks like they're starting to pull ahead here. They've got... 1.6k gold lead, and it, right now it only looks like it's going to get bigger. Uh, what what does blue team need to do to get maybe back into this? Where's their next play, Rick? I just wanted to uh, call out on the uh, tower attempt. If they oh. wanted to do more damage, what they needed to do was block the minions from walking past the top tower. Because once the minions walk past the tower, that's going to block your minion wave from hitting the tower. Um, so as a champion taking the tower, you need to that pass the tower and block the minion aggro. 
Right, either kill them or just soak all those hits. For yeah. Sure. Um, blue team. You wanna you wanna look at who's your where's your advantage at? Victor has the CS lead on mid, so that's gonna be an advantage at some point. Um, but Aurelian Soul does have a kill, but he's going a more slow Rod of Ages or um, maybe the uh, the other item, I imagine. With the trading Atlas. out here. Beauty's coming Aurelian in with Soul. Lee Sin behind her. The exhaust is dropped. Here goes the tether from Nargana. The Dark Binding misses, flashed over by Scholar Mike. Wait, it still hit him, actually. And he ended up on the other side of that. MF Volti dropped. Savage X Teal. X2 forced to burn heal. Close one there. Looked a little desperate there. They knew they were just walking right over Vision into that one. And bot lane burns some flashes and gets out alive. Oh, the Aurelian Soul over the wall, though. The bubble hits again and just murders Savage X2. He just explodes there from the four-man gank by following up as well. Gallard Mike dropping a little, a little, a little fun time BM on his body. So it really looks like I don't, I don't, it's really hard to ward against an Aurelian Soul because he can come from such weird angles. So mid, every time he leaves, he needs to tell his team like, hey, you guys, everybody needs to respect this guy because we can't see him. We don't know what he's doing. Fall in here, getting some free damage on the tower as Morgana clears out a pink ward. Ooh, Bacon trying to bait in low to roam. The Q hits from Vi, the W's down, the R goes in. The tower dive is a success. Wow, and and Salt City Academy is just getting picked off here. They're getting destroyed by this Platinum 2 jungler. And Lee Sin is just too far behind or in the wrong spots. And you can see Red rotating up to punish Rumble as well. Here goes another one. They're just going all across the map here. Jarvan Alti just dropped, and Rumble's dead as it even hits. So what this I would is... like to call out here, what Red Team's doing is they're making plays happen as their ults come up. Uh, Rumble has his ult, it's still up. Lee Sin has his ult, it's still up. Victor has his ult, it's still up. Every, like, except for Morgana, I believe, everybody on Blue Team has their ults. They need a plan to group together and make a play with their ults as they're up. And they're just not making plays when their ultimates are up. Yeah, it looks like they, they're they're holding them maybe for that play to just come to them, but that's that's not really going to happen right now, uh, especially when you have ultimates in the game like like Vialti. Vialti, you can't respond to that with another ultimate. You know, it's, you're just going to unless unless it's utilized in the very correct way. Uh, some mid pressure going down here. Bot lane, get into another fight. Savage X two falling really low. The R falls and he's barely going to get him out with his life. Bot lane. Fully in favor of Dream fucking team. There goes the GLP item. Aurelian Soul flying with the Spirit Bomb. He's going to connect with Victor. The balls are dropped. Lee Sin lands his resonating strike and does not follow it up. Bye here. Looking very strong here. Q's into Homicidal. Taking him very low. Does not have an ultimate. Savage X2 trying to come over. Black Shield blocks the stun. Very nice. Bacon flashes into a Q. Gets Morgana ulted. The Equalizer is dropped. Tristana falls. Victor falls to Vi. Aurelian Soul goes really low and is taken out by Homicidal, who gets out by the skin of his teeth, but there's a flash. Another Vault Breaker goes down. Holy cow, this is a crazy fight. Jarvan getting caught under the tower, but he's levels ahead with the Titanic Hydra. It does not do much. And Dream fucking Team comes out on top of there with two kills to one. And it looks like they're going to be able to pressure down mid-tower here. All four members here standing strong. Rumble's trying desperately to wave clear. Going to be able to maybe push this wave off. There it goes. And there's another wave close behind with a lot of wave clear on red team's side. This tower might be gone. Say goodbye to it, Rumble. Oh, here comes a teleport in from Victor. Is it going to be fast enough? Yes, he is going to be able to save this tower for now. Well, I like that Rumble used his ultimate. I like that Lee Sin used his ultimate. Um, Victor, I don't believe, might have gotten it off, but it's... Um, what what I want to see, what I wanted to see earlier is like Morgana and Lee Sen roaming together. And then wherever Red Team doesn't have numbers, they make a play. So they can force a 3v1 somewhere. And that's been, what I want to see. That would have been really, really nice. Um, we've got objectives just being traded. Stone Dragon going over maybe to Blue Team. If Aurelian Soul doesn't mess it all up, though, he's dealing a ton of damage down to both of them. Blows up Savage X2. Holmes smites away the jungle, looking for a ward trinket, looking for a jump out. He's just going to have to turn and fight. 
Demacia's drop, Jarvan takes out Lee Sin. And it looks like Rip Harold went over to Dream fucking team. I don't know who it went on. Uh, maybe Jarvan picked it up because it's not on by. It's a little sloppy, but they get an Earth Dragon out of it, which is a nice objective to have. Uh, this Ocean Drake is really doing work for Dream fucking team right now. I mean, with, with all the walking they've been doing, I mean, they walk mid, take a little bit of damage, kill somebody, walk top, Ocean Drake kicks in again, kill somebody. <laughs> walk back to their lanes, Ocean Drake kicks in again, they can farm the waves. Uh, so this is actually being a really good dragon for them right now. So right now, like, blue team's in a really bad situation, but it's just try to get back to what might be a winning condition. Uh... Victor's one of the best late game team fighters. So can you stall out to late game? Can you just get farm on him? Ooh, a really nice bubble by Scholar Mike. The Q is dropped. Thunderlords punishes Lodorone. The Q goes wide by Lee Sin, but Nami also flashes it. I believe it would have missed her. That could have been lag on my part. Um, but nice flash by Scholar Mike, respecting the Lee Sin insect attempt, potentially. Two top lane. Rumble's getting pressured in. He's going to get ulted on by by Jarvan's going to go in, and he is just going to explode. He does not have Leandri's finished. Oh, wow. Misfortune drops the ultimate mid lane, forcing Victor really low here. They've got three members. They're going to try to defend this turret. Leeson looking for the Q. The coconut goes wide, and they're going to get a free top tower off this. Uh, we're, we're just watching what happens when you get a really big gold lead, and these towers start to fall. you, you got level advantage uh, in all lanes, CS leads. Oh, this is not looking good for Team Salt City Academy. So Jarvan what? going in again, getting ulted on, exhausted, and the pool is dropped, but no damage to follow it up. So what, what blue team needs to also do is <sighs> look at the enemy team and say, who is squishy? Because those are the people that you're going to be able to kill. You're not going to be able to kill anybody that's tanky. So you're not going to be able to kill J4. You're not going to be... You probably aren't going to be able to kill Vi. Uh, Relian Soul has a lot of health, so you might not be able to kill him. So you want to maybe focus on killing Misfortune and not. Oh, Homicidal going in, gets the Insect off on Scowler. Actually, not an Insect, just a kick backwards. Gets the Misfortune's Flash and blows up Nami. Speaking of squishy targets, Ricks, there's one of them. There you go. So just rinse and repeat. When you when Nami comes back on the map, just find her and kill her. <laughs> find the fish. And eat well tonight. A much-needed kill going over to Team Salt City Academy. It is 2 to 11 right now, 20 minutes and 33 seconds in. And there's a nice little 7k, uh, wow, no, I can't do math. 8k gold lead for Dream fucking Team right now. Um, another way to get back in the game is get shutdowns. Um, but work on killing Misfortune and Nami a couple times. Um, if Aurelian Soul gets caught out, then try to kill Aurelian Soul because you get that shutdown. Um, and hope that... J4 just tower dives and dies to the tower. That's really <laughs> the only thing. It. Ooh, spooky ghosts finding the Aurelian soul. The GLP item is going to get popped. Homicidal going in and going to ward shrink it out. Tricky, tricky Lee Sin. Savage here. Looking like food here to this Jarvan. Hopefully he respects him enough. Yeah, he's going to jump right over the wall and get the hell out of Dodge. Nami being found out. Here goes the laser, here's the victor, ulti dropped. She's gonna WA, but is it gonna be in time for the last burst? And Lodorone picks up the kill on Scowler. Hey, look, the squishy target. The fish hey, and they're, they're the finding fish. her again. Aurelian Soul getting way caught out from the team and goes down as well, but looks like a pause is being brought in. Maybe there was something that happened. Oh, that was a really nice little fight. Uh, Rumble Alt actually looked like it was dropped in a good spot. I don't know if it hit a lot of people, but it zoned them off pretty well. You don't want to go down that thin jungle tunnel with a rumble ulti on top of it. Well, Rick, I think I think whatever energy you're challenging to them uh, <clears throat> is lagging the enemy team. <laughs> oh well, that could be it too. What did he say? <laughs> did Spencer lag? Pauses for lag. Oh, I guess it's in the <laughs> rules. Well, this is interesting. Maybe Spencer lagged out. He is playing on a potato, but... Uh, <laughs> you can't pause for lag. No, no, no. Definitely not. You know, if, if you couldn't see your own balls as a rally and soul, uh, that, that's definitely a reason to pause. But 
<laughs> R.I.P. R- R- Bjergsen. I mean, it's actually reason to remake. Homicidal runs into a very scary Jarvan, but cues to his crud camp and gets the heck out of there. All right, Leandri's Torment finally finished on Rumble. He also has his Match Pen boots, so he hurts a little bit. He definitely is in need of Azonias here, or something here to bulk up a little bit, because right now he just explodes. So I want to see Lee Sin keep smiting those wolves. That gives you a little bit of vision back. Mm-hmm, um, try to kill the Skull Crabs whenever they come up. That'll give you a little vision. Because that's going to help you stall out Baron. That's going to help you stall out Dragons, having that vision. So that the other team doesn't end the game as quickly. If you have Scuttle Crab Vision, if you have Wolf Vision, then you can just sit under your tower and you can farm and just be passive. Hope that they tower dive you and hope that you survive. Definitely. And they can't, and, and it helps because they can't uh, clear your vision in that side of the jungle. Can't clear a Wraith, a wraith uh, the Wolf Wraith. You know, you can only walk away from it until it disappears. So you're basically secured. I don't, I don't like how net. nobody's catching Bottom Wave. Like, somebody needs to catch that wave. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of crashing now. It looks like Victor's heading over there, but a little too late. It looks like he already lost a wave or two to the tower. Uh, they're posturing up for this next dragon, which appears to be a uh, Infernal. So this is one that everybody definitely wants. So if I'm blue team, I'm saying, okay, Lisa, I want you to try to Q steal this and maybe Rumble drop your ult as well. But other than that, I don't really want to fight for this. Oh, Lisa going in very hard here. Has the Rumble to get out of here. And Rumble ult dropped. Just... And they drop Aurelian Soul and the MF really low here. They're yeah. at half health, but that, that doesn't matter if you can't make it through this big bulky front line here. I mean, red team has uh, Ocean Drag, and they have a Nami. So <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't like the Rumble ult, just like reactive panic. Oh, ult. no. The W is interrupted by Tristana by the Jar- Jarvan. She flashes out, but that gives Vi the chance to just alt her and end her life. Q lands on Nami, very squishy, jumps in. And is able to ward hop out to do a black shield. Ru- Misfortune ulti drops. Dropping Rumble a little low, but not enough to kill. And red team over here going to pick up their kill on Tristana and head right to Dragon. So now we've got a 5v4 here. That was just a force. Like I said a couple of minutes ago, I want to see blue team just killing Scuttle Crabs. I want to see them farming under tower. And I just want to see them farming. Oh, yeah. Getting like, a little damage here onto Jarvan, but he really can't mess with this guy, and the dragon's gonna go right over to Dream fucking team. It'll forcing, add to their ocean drake. Mm-hmm. Forcing fights away from your towers is just gonna help you lose the quicker in most cases, so I just don't wanna see them forcing all these fights away from tower right now. Red team moving nicely over to Baron. Looks like they wanna take the scrubble scrubble scuttle crab and maybe attempt it. Um I think this will be successful, honestly. But and Lee Sin, right? wolves, wolves, smite wolves. Come on, buddy. Smite the <laughs> oh, wolves. Oh, Jarvan going in, missing the EQ, but he knows there's a big pack there. And another thing is um, when uh, Rumble dropped his ultimate and two people like recalled, that was an opportunity that Lee Sin could have gotten a scuttle crab. Looks like a little fight might break out here. Victor is back in base, though. Tristana's bot lane. It's a 3v5. Baron's bringing everybody down. Rumble here going really low, does not even get an ultimate off. Homicidal also falling to a quarter. Getting chased down by the MF with the E on her. Vi going in, Aring, and bringing down Lee Sin to end his life. Bacon cuts off the escape for beauties here. The Aurelian Soul Q drops, and Vi picks up a triple kill. And they're just going to march down top lane, maybe take an inhibitor here. That's kind of a lose-lose situation where the enemy team's standing on uh, Baron. And so what I try to do in that situation is do, like, pump fakes. I act like I'm going to go into Baron, but I don't actually go, and the hope is that they pull off Baron for me, but I'm far enough away where I can get back to safety. Oh yeah, and maybe they pull off the damage dealer. Maybe you pull off, you know, a support and a mid laner. You know, anything to help the dragon go slower. If they pull pull off their tanks, then uh, maybe the damage dealers start getting killed by Baron. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Savage X2 getting caught here, maybe by J4, the R's dropped. He's just going to get knocked away, sent for a little ride. And Brian might be able to get out safely. Blue buff here going over to Bacon. And they're going to ping the Baron, but no, they're all just going to recall, reset here. Nami, maybe looking like he's going to get caught out. Equalizer's dropped. Lee Sin's going in. Here comes Beauty's far behind, but MF ulti goes wide. Dodged by the two. The Q lands again. Bacon fails the flash, and Homicidal picks up the kill. Here they're chasing down a 4v2. Chicken Little going really low here. Gets exhausted down, and he's going to say goodbye. 
Oh Tristan. no, bye. Find Tristana over here, over, walking through mid lane. She's gonna get ulted on, she's gonna get picked up, slammed down, goodbye. Here's the shutdown gold for blue team, and they're gonna clear out the wards, and they're gonna start this Baron. <laughs> wow, this might be really risky. I think J4 is full health, coming down with the Nami. They're definitely gonna come in here. Baron's only at 6,000, Homicidal's almost dead to it. I'm Burglar as well. They gotta run from this Jarvan. He's looking really hungry here. He gets the one kill. Can he get two? Can he get three? Yes, he can. <laughs> can he get the quadra? Holmes is running for his life. Oh, man. <sighs> Woo! Nothing so, like Baron to make it, it fun. It, it's fun. For blue team, it's great that red team just threw there. Um, but it's like recognizing how far down you still are and who's still on the map and who has health and <laughs> what can you do to Baron. Like being able to assess that and not make a panic play. Uh, that was definitely a play born of desperation. Um, if it had panned out, it would have been really, really cool, but I don't think it even could have, even if Jarvan didn't come in. Jarvan here, just going to tank this whole Baron. They're not even going to need Spite for this. Actually, Vi is going to make it here in time. And this looks like Baron going right over Dream fucking team. And uh, this should uh, be the push oh, to win dear. here. Rumble getting way caught out, going toward this. Gets the Zonia to drop to elongate his life for just a second here. Savage X2 is going to get Vi ulted and just obliterated by the Misfortune ulti. Here comes oh, Bacon with the Rumble. Spirit Bomb. Is it going to be big enough to catch Morgana? No, it is not. She black shields herself anyways. Oh, the flash by Bruce's success right into a Morgana Dark Binding. Very nice play. Lodorone here trying to stall this out. I think he's a little too close here. Yes, he's going to get slowed and destroyed. You got to respect this Rylai's homicidal caught as well by the Spirit Bomb. Going to go down, and they're just going to push these Baron minions probably in for the win. Uh, one one Nexus turret down. One thing I want to <laughs> say is, Rumble, please cancel your teleport next time. Like, you see that Baron's dead. <laughs> Just let it go. You don't have a smite. <laughs> don't don't TP there. And 29 minutes, Dream fucking team takes the victory, 23 to 7 with a 12 point, uh, 12k gold lead. Oof. Anxious to look at the damage charts here. Who do you think is going to top it, Rick? Uh, I would want to say J4, but probably not because they didn't trade that much top lane. No, they didn't. I'm going to say Vire, Aureli, and Soul are the two obvious picks. We pan over the dragon chart. Dragon charts. Very well, charts. Could be J4 though. Oh my gosh, and it is J4. Oh, it's actually misfortune on top with thirteen thousand nine hundred seventy-two. All the damages were pretty close though, by all of them. They all broke ten thousand except for Nami. Uh, the damage dealers for ooh, Team Salt City Academy. Tristana with a doing less damage than both supports. She had a rough time for sure. All right, do you have an MVP for that game, Rick? J4 never got caught. He got the triple kill at Baron. Um, he had split push pressure. He was getting uh, powers. Bi did help a lot early game. She was part of four of the first five kills. So it kind of helped the ball get rolling. But J4 had the CS lead top without her. Oh, yeah, for so sure. I, it, it... I think I just have to go for like the most consistent, most pressure on the map. Uh, they Baron. So J4. If you're too. looking for a hero, call Jarvan the Fourth. That's what you're saying right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Furious Purpose on Jarvan taking Rick's MVP. I'm going to give it to Furious Purpose as well because he, he <laughs> killed it. I mean, perfect KDA, uh, most gold in the game, uh, most CS in the game, most terrifying dude on the Rift for sure. If Nami didn't die at all, I was going to give it to uh, O'Scholar down there, but he had his two deaths. They were unlucky. He got caught out, but he landed some really nice bubbles in bot lane. All right, so hopefully we get game two rolling pretty quickly here. I'm the dad. Nope, this is not the one I want to be in. <laughs> Whoops, a daisy. Hopefully we'll get invites here uh, shortly. That was pretty good though. Good news is blue team had a KDA of one uh, for the whole team. KDA of one. <laughs> There you go, at least it wasn't negative, right? Yeah. <clears throat> um, can we take a little uh, intermission trap here? Mm -hmm. So some things that I'm looking at right now is just like, uh, 
who did the worst, and is there a way that I can get them to do better next game? So, Savage is 0 6 1. See what his damage was. Damage is 2000. So, I, I would be asking my ADC was it the champion? Was it the matchup? Was it the rotations? Was it the pressure? Like, what kinds of things? Like, his CS number is the highest on his team, though. So, like, he's able to farm, but he's not getting the damage off with that farm. I would so. I would say, yes, he, he did have the highest farm on there, but he did just go split bot lane for a good portion of that time, and it was his team objectives. So while he, he did get that CS up, um, he did fall behind in lane. So. Is, is there a champion that's going to help him not fall behind in lane? Also do more damage in team fights? Those kinds of things. Um, that is a good question. I don't know Brian's pool well enough to answer that. I know Tristana is one of his favorite, most comfortable champions. I don't know what else he has to bust out. But he's definitely got to uh, dodge a few more bubbles if they come around his way. Uh, looking at top lane, uh, he lost early. And a lot of his uh, skill shots weren't that impactful. His uh, rumble ultimates weren't as impactful as he wanted so i would be asking you know was it our team fight that's preventing my rumble ults from being impactful um or is it the champion so if if you don't have a knack for skill shots then maybe go for a champion that isn't as skill shot dependent um and maybe go for a tank that can just create some cc maybe to help your adc get more damage off Oh yeah, and it, it's it's hard for a, a jungler on one side, especially when when your laners are so low blowing flash to uh, get out of a losing fight. Um, it's only natural for enemy side to be like, hey, this person has no flash. Like, come in, land this game. Let's let's murk this dude. And that's what happened to Rumble top side in his lane. Just spiraled out from full after that. Here we are gathering up. And I would I would also ask like Ugh. is Lee Sin the best jungler for that team comp? Like if if you have a rumble, J4 might be nice on your team because J4 can uh, drop that circle. I think and, the answer uh, to that rumble is can like open. a resounding is a resounding no. I mean, you <laughs> kick someone back into your team and your 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 two bursts are on ADC and Victor. Rumble doesn't really do that much burst anymore unless he builds like a proto belt, which I really like to do on him, but it didn't look like he had enough gold to maybe buy really anything. Uh, the amount of he was dying. And uh, it just it just didn't seem to make too much sense. Because it, it, when you insect someone and pick somebody, you can maybe mess up a binding into them. You know, all of a sudden you're messing up other people's skill shots into the champion as well. So I just, I wasn't a big fan of the comp on uh, Team Salt City Academy's side, but that's what they wanted to run. So maybe a better draft will help them? Oh yeah, definitely. I think they need to pick more dominant laners here. I mean, they did pick a good mid laner. They, pick, they picked all strong lanes, except maybe the bot lane. I'd like to see Beauties pick up Nami, uh, a support who's like, hey, you got poked a bit? I got a heal for you. Uh, hey, they, they dove on you? I just throw a bubble on you. Uh, hey, we're ahead. We want to like slow people get a kill down. I'm gonna give you E. Like her kit's just so it's so easy to play with and covers all sorts of situations that you wanted. While Morgana, on one hand, mitigating damage is not nearly as good as healing in some circumstances. You know? you, it, it can be nice though. That Q is a very nice pick tool. Oh, it's so it's amazing. Get, and that might amazing. have been that might have been the catches that they got on Aurelian Soul and they got on Nami and they got. Oh, oh yeah, they were, they were usually like really nice uh, Lee Sin cues to get Vision followed up by a really nice uh, Dark Binding. And then the damage would follow on this target that can't go anywhere. So I will commend them for that. They had some nice picks. And we're just trying to move into LCS order here. Hopefully it will get rolling sometime soon. Uh, trying to get out invites here. Sorry for the wait, everybody. Daniel, can you check your lead messages, please? What? Am I there? Am I muted? Will not hear me? Well, I think people can hear me. Rick, can you, can you hear me? I can hear you. All right, I don't know why people are messaging me then. 
They're just trolls. I mean, there was there was <laughs> yeah. a point in time where your um, mic was kind of echoey. Oh, um, sorry but I, about that. I think that's been resolved since then. Yeah, that is a little odd. I'm sorry about that. Uh, all right, it looks like we're gonna kick game two off of this best of three series. Any second now. Don't hold your breath though. Like anything in the little RVA, we like to take our time. Oh man, I was practicing my my swimming holding breath. <laughs> <sighs> Works well for Trinity, right? All you have to do is hold your breath for five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of which, I've been playing a lot of Trinity and Solo Key. Man, you know, Rick, I think you made a made a fan. That's yeah. Where are you playing them? Uh, jungle, top, those two. It's really um, fun to play Shinner Mix Hop when you're uh, playing against low ELO people that don't know how to, like, shut you down or um, <laughs> zone you off the wave. Oh, it's, it's great. Uh, that heal in the jungle is, is really wicked, actually. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I find myself running around at, at full health almost the whole time, if not, like, three quarters or above. Yep. All right, band phase going out here. Dream fucking team staying with the same bands here. Looks probably going to be Echo, Lissandra, followed by whatever third band they made. Can't really remember. Salt City Academy predictably takes away Darius from Furious Purpose. Um, you think they'll ban out anyone from last game that they saw? Um, it depends on how the Burglar felt about his matchup with J4. He was able to survive to level six, so. Maybe he doesn't feel like J4 was that much of a problem. Oh yeah, because while Fury's Purpose is a very fun top laner, he's got a pretty small pool. It's Darius, J4, and he's adding uh, Lowey and York to it. So, so they just been, <laughs> they just been by. Um, they had a Nocturne last game, so I'm wondering if they're going to drop two bands on boost. Oh, Nocturne switches sides? Is that accurate? Oh, well, I think they actually, had, maybe they had banned Nocturne out. Well, there you go, two bands from the previous game, Vi and J4. There we go, Vi and J4, both taken off the table, and boost his success. Gonna steal away Homicidal's Lee Sin. Gonna grab it from him. I don't think Holmes is gonna play it this game, just because he had so little impact last game, but you never know. Well, I mean, it's on blue team, and Holmes is on red. So, oh. he's not gonna play it definitely now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it got taken away from him. I, I don't think he was going to play it anyway. I got gotcha. you. I think he's hovering Shaco here to troll our resident Shaco player, uh, Marco Jack Frost. Or just scare the shit out of me because <laughs> the one champion that banned every single game. Oh, gosh. You know, I've yet to see the play that is Shaco in a very long time. And <laughs> I knock on wood. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. And every, I'm Burglar here, hovering every Rumble. Third for me. <laughs> I, I really hope he doesn't lock this. I'd like to see him on not that either but it looks like he's going back to his roots going back to shen poor i'm burglar destined to lose lane every game this tournament and homicidal locks in the warwick busting out i can appreciate both of these champions because <laughs> um it kind of helps if you aren't able to make plays as much they can kind of naturally make plays for you oh yeah i mean this he has an ultimate that in small instances, we'll just win you fights and get, secure you ganks and kills. Uh, you're always high health, young map. Jen as well can just save your stupid teammate with that wonderful ultimate. I think I would like to see Warwick uh, put Ghost on instead of Smite. That's just what I like to run when I play Warwick. It'd be very nice. I, I really like the fact that it has such a low cooldown. I mean, it's almost a full minute and a minute and 20 seconds less than Flash. I, I just, like I like the ghost because I can ghost into a lane and then just ult. And so it's a guaranteed I'm going to get my ult off. Whereas if I walk into lane, I can flash, they can flash, um, and they just get away. It's really unfortunate. If you don't if you don't get it timed correctly or if you misjudge the distance of the flash and you're just stuck running after them, <laughs> mashing the R. Furious okay. Purpose here, yeah. picking up a Lowey. This is his third top pick, so and, no surprise there. And uh, Furious Purpose was actually kind of training uh, our Fulgren with a Lowey the other day, so 
must uh, know a lot about it is that's all four rooms can been playing for the last week yeah i've seen that it's pretty nasty on it saw it in the in-house and he scaled into just this gigantic thing that we could not kill part of it was because we had a nasty fight again but uh <laughs> it was definitely an unstoppable force savage x2 here switching over to Jin. here we go nice consistent strong meta adc uh i can attest to the fact that you can be like 06 engine and still come and be really useful in team fights. Because uh, that's what happens in like every ranked game that I play in. <laughs> I either get really far ahead or I get really far behind, and I'm still very useful in both ways. Chicken Little here, hovering is. I'm not going to say it's notorious, because I don't think anyone's seen it, because it always gets banned in our in houses. But it, I think he really wants to play Bane here, and it's a nice pick in the gym. It's not idyllic, but. While Jin's reloading, you're just continuing to proximal movements on Oh, and here comes the rise again. Hovered for, I'm assuming it's Bacon. And Chicken Little stops trolling us, switches right back over to Lucian. Another one of his comfort picks. And we're waiting on the last pick over here by Beauties. What? Is that a zillion support or a zillion mid? I don't especially like Zillion just because he has one type of damage and it can be challenging to land it sometimes. Definitely, and if you miss it... But he's support, so it's not as much of a concern. That's not but as bad. Again, one point of damage. Like, if you can land the QWQ and get a stun, that can be fantastic. Which, I guess, if you have a Warwick suppression, then you have a guaranteed uh, QWQ. So oh. he can, like, uh, stack it with Warwick. Oh, yeah. And you can, uh, you can kind of give Warwick a fake ghost by just eating him. He can run at someone, maybe. Oh, yeah, here. I like that. So now Warwick has his ghost. And um, also, sometimes one thing that's weak on Warwick is that I'll ult in and then everybody will focus me and I'll die. So Zillian can revive him. So maybe Warwick goes uh, full damage and just prepares, waits for Zillian's ult. And then when like, he gets back up, all that hard CC is hopefully dropped. Well, it doesn't even look like there is that much hard CC on Dream Fucking Team this time. There's just a, a kick and a snare. A couple I snares. Th I think I would like to see, like, Warwick ult in. Like, Zillion speeds him up, Warwick ults in, Shin ults Warwick. The so Warwick's just this monster with all this damage. I want to see just so much damage out of Warwick. And uh, then after Shin's shield goes off, Zillion ults too. What's what's the Warwick build these days? Does he go like Blood Razor, Wit's End? Does he does he build all the attack speed on hit items, or do you go like Blood Razor right into like Dead Man's Plate? I really don't know. I want I want a lot of damage items. I feel like damage. I want speed. armor. I want armor pen. Um, so do you go Warriors speed. or do you go Blood Razor? I think lately I was going uh, Blood Razor into Wit's End. Wit's End, and then do you get a? Where does your armor pen factor in? Where do you, where do you get like a maul? Like, like go to armor pen? Yeah, right? maul one Mordius, that's usually. Really uh, like that I'll get a maul more Mordius, and then I might get a uh, couple lifesteal items. Like a Bork? Oh uh, yeah, Bork. Maybe even uh, last item if the game's just going really well, I might get a uh, Bloodthirster. But I might end up with a G8 last item. I'd really like to see that build out of Warwick too, because I think he needs to output some damage here. You need, you know, you need more damage sources than Cassiopeia and Jin right now, so you need a, a, a Warwick that hurts. But I, I, I think uh, either um, either Jungle Item, Blood Racer, or the other one, they're both uh, pretty solid on Warwick. Oh yeah, I'd like to see him with some Merc Treads to defuse maybe the Snare Spam on him, but that's about it. I'd like to just see him with a ton of damage. One minute that. and 23 seconds till we load up here on the rift. We'll get to see, hopefully, some fun skins here. There's some of my favorite champions that I see skins on. I really like Shen's skins. I really like Rai's skins. I think they're hilarious. Um, one thing I also like about Red Team here is that if Warwick ults Lee Sen, nobody can stop Warwick's ult on no. the blue team. Besides, well... There's only a Lee Sin kick. Yeah. As the so, solo so either ult Lee Sin every single fight, or if Lee Sin's not there, then ult the priority target. Oh, yeah. Uh, one part of me says Red Team has the advantage here just because they have so much more CC, and it's AoE. 
They have a Shen Taunt, they have a Zillion Bomb, they have uh, the Cassiopeia Alt, all potential AoE CC bombs. But you gotta hit them, right? None of them, they're not a cannon alt team. They're not, uh, uh, what else am I thinking of? Like, they're not a Mumu alt team. It's not something really big and easy to hit. Shen Dash, he's gotta get in there, he's gotta get them lined up. Uh, Zillion's gotta hit both of his bombs pretty close to uh, a bunch of people. So they're, they're really skill reliant. So I'm really hoping to see some plays from Team Salt State Academy. I, I hope they make this a three game series. It'd be really exciting. But like the beautiful thing about Warwick is you don't have to be skillful on Zillion if Warwick ults. You just drop those bombs right on top of Warwick. And... It can definitely, if you get picked on this against this team, you're, you're probably gonna die. Unless you're really, really far ahead of the team. But even and... then, you're probably still gonna die. Yeah, I mean, Warwick and... goes in, Shin ults. Um, and then Jin just starts ulting from afar. That person should die if Warwick red smites them. Oh, yeah. And Warwick is actually really, really beautiful against Alawi. Because the moment Alawi drops R, um, if she can't get a W off to invoke, like, five more tentacle slams, eh, she almost becomes useless. So if Alawi's like to trade, uh, let people get in close to him, right? And by default, she usually falls to, like, half if she's not super careful, and then she'll ult, and then get all that health back. Uh, and Warwick, after she ults, you can just hold her down for 2.5 seconds, and then you just finish off the remainder of her health. So, what I was saying last game, I was wanting uh, jungle and support to roam together. That might be a great opportunity in mid-game here as well, because Zillion can give Warwick that little ghost, and then Warwick can ghost into a lane and ult, and they'll be able to get the kill. That would be really nice. Even early on, if he has red buff on him and Zillion just walks him into mid lane. Um, Ryze does have ghosts to get away from it, but if he is caught unawares, maybe by <clears throat> by uh, what am I thinking of? a Cassiopeia slow, maybe that Miasma holds him down long enough, uh, something could happen. I'm They're thinking all, all also kind of it might be nice uh, Warwick to get some uh, XP. Uh, advantages from Zillion, so Zillion can just level up Warwick to an early 6. That'd be really, really good, and definitely give him his power spike earlier. We've got Uncle Sam Rise being popped out here by Bacon. All standard item buys going over from both teams. Do you, do you like Machete or Hunter's Talisman on Warwick? Um, Machete. Because I uh, go level 1, level 3, level 5 uh, W, and that mm -hmm. gives me a good early uh, clear. Yeah, I usually, I really, I really hate even using my Q because it costs so much mana. Early invade here, finds Loader Road in the mid lane, takes him to about half, and takes a tower shot for his effort. So what I want to see, like, when Cassiopeia is walking backwards, I want to see her drop a tower, uh, drop a, a ward as she's walking away, just so you have that vision there. That would have been really nice. Um, she definitely did not do it. Because you know? right now, red team has no idea what blue team's wanting to do. No, no, they're just Nobody, hoping, they're hoping, they're hoping maybe, you know. Yeah, not, neither did blue team secure any vision on that. They, they just kind of went in, maybe looking for a kill. Uh, they dropped, yeah, no wards. No wards have been dropped by anybody. They're all just kind of sitting blind, hoping that the enemy team isn't doing anything. So, as blue team, I want to throw a ward over that blue wall. Oh, yeah. Um, At least get, you can see it, you know? Yeah, see if Warwick's going to go over there and start there. Mastery symbols being popped. Everybody's here and ready for this game. Warwick starting blue buff here, as opposed to Grump. Macking away at them, minions. But I definitely like to see some more impact from Holmes, because Boost definitely got to the lanes faster, got participation quicker uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how he I don't I don't like how Warwick is uh, not doing like full clear he's doing some different stuff right now he's doing the same stuff he did last game where he takes one buff and then walks all the way over to the other side I, I, I really don't like that as well because it just like it, it, you're not putting your small camps on timers you know they're yeah. just sitting there they're gold, they're gold it's gold you're just walking by Essentially. What, what I mean is good though is that he'll be able to fight Lee Sin if Lee Sin invaded him because he'll have double buff. Mm -hmm. Um also if Lee Sin starting red buff, Lee Sin could invade Warwick in his Warwick's blue jungle. 
That is true, but your smite comes up to take wolf. If Warwick, you go, go to if double you go, golems. Uh, Warwick, don't go to race. <laughs> You're skipping a camp, Warwick. What are you doing? He's skipping the camp because now if he goes to do that, he has to walk all the way back up there and then oh walk all the gosh. way back down. Definitely no. an under under itemized jungle path here. Not, Believe not sends on his fourth camp right now, and Warwick's on his third. Yeah, and Lee Sen, <laughs> So Lee sends a full camp ahead of Warwick right now. Definitely inefficient. Definitely inefficient. If Warwick Jen can here? get this gank off, so it's nice. It's very unlikely, but we'll see. Coming into a very pushed in Alawi here, though. They have Shenton. They have all the tools to do something here. All right, Warwick, you're taking too long, buddy. Pathing around right, going Lee back Sen to his crumbs. has five camps oh, right now. Bot lane, a big fight goes down. I totally missed it. I'm sorry. Chicken Little takes down Beauties in a really wonderful fashion. Uh, I do not know what happened. Looked like just a ton of damage came out and she got burned down. Maybe snared. Beauties not respecting Lucian Karma lane for sure. And so far, the lanes are all looking, once again, really, really bad. Uh, for Green Falcon team. Cassiopeia getting caught here. No mana. Gets burst down really low by Bacon. CS lead is going over to Rise. Now, Rise is a really annoying laner because all he does for like the first three levels, well, the whole time, is he throws an E at you. The moment you come into range, he just throws an E at you. Karma over here, roaming mid lane. Hits the flash Q off the empowered. <laughs> Q lands. Rise drops the snare, and she dies. Oh, really nice roam over by Scholar Mike. Um, oh, so what happened bot lane, I just went back and saw it, mm -hmm. um, part of it was just burst, um, beauties didn't flash, savage didn't heal, um, they just straight up walked up and did a bunch of damage, there was no skill shots, just a bunch of damage. Oh, and you, you can't be doing that, beauties here, walking way up, dodges out, chicken little, flashes over, gets exhausted, Trying to put out some damage here. Trying to get the 2v1. Gets snared out. Here comes Lee Sin to help him out. The heal drops. Beauties falls really low. Here comes the heal from Savage. But the Q lands from Lee Sin. The resonating strike finishes Beauties off. And really, really, really confusing plays going down right here. And this um, is the reason I wouldn't want to pick Zillion. Because it's hard to get the damage off. Whereas yeah, Karma is easy to get the damage off. Zillion you can dodge. Oh, yeah. I mean, and when you and when you when you miss one bomb, you're kind of you're kind of done because uh, you don't have the sun anymore. Uh, if you yep. miss the second bomb, which you didn't, but you still lose half your damage. Karma roaming up again mid lane, got the W on the load of who's forced to flash out of it to avoid getting snared. Now, what I will see sometimes though, this zillion will slow down his opponent so he can land that Q. Oh yeah. Uh, you, you try um, to put everything can't... on cooldown before you W again, because everything benefits from it besides your ultimate. So, an ad, like a, a, a wonderful, idyllic zillion combo is walk up and uh, like auto them, E them, Q, W, Q, they're stunned, and then when they get out of that, you E them again. So they literally don't move. Um, I really like this initiative by Dream fucking team here. They they know that, hey, Spencer got out CS that game, last game, right? He was... While all lanes won, per se, he was the losing lane. So now we're going to have Karma, secure bot lanes, victory, and then kind of just roam up continuously and force this Cassiopeia onto her back foot. That's really nice. Nice adapt ad adaptation here by Blue Team. Chicken Little here dashing in, doing a ton of damage. And once again, like, BDs is not on a sustained support, so any little mistake made by the two of them, Brian's now permanently at half health. He can die. To Karma and Lucian, just outright. So right now, Warwick's on a uh, side of the jungle where there are no camps, so just really bad pathing. Def definitely um, inefficient here. Not and he's going to be on blue here. side when his red buff spawns. So again, efficient pathing. Got a Roman going in here from Bacon and Boost. I really like that as well. Why is Shen back in? I guess he feels like he's about to get tower dove, but he just teleported top lane. Well, hopefully not. Maybe he was just maybe he just wanted to look at his recall animation here. Savage X2 trying to save for this mini wave, but he is really, really low. And he's gonna play it safe, back out, and lose a full wave. No no, he's gonna he's gonna stop. He's gonna stay here. And play also, it. um Dillian used his uh speed. Oh, here goes his, the speed uh, up. 
But Zillion used mm. his uh, buff on uh, on Jin. Din. So he could have leveled up Warwick for that uh, early level 6, and he didn't. Which especially would have helped Warwick since he's been jungling very inefficiently. At the like, same time, I can understand, like, hey, I, you know, I, I look, gotta Lee help Sin, on my mid laner just got that red buff that I talked about. So, uh, just, just bad pathing. Cassiopeia here. Looks like she's gonna get her blue. This might help her mid lane. But I have a very strong suspicion she's just gonna get ganked and lose it. Just because the game is going so far in favor right now of blue side. Really nice combos here by Lowie and top lane. Um, Shen is just... This is a really bad matchup for Shen. So I uh, want to see all all of the uh, red team, all of their focus bot lane for the rest of the game. Because you can use those combos I talked about. Have Warwick walk straight down bot lane. Have Zillion speed him up. Then Warwick ults. And then if, if they get counter ganked, Shin ults. And then Jin's just ulting from a distance. Hmm. Like, that's what I want to see. And you need All to start degrees. doing it. In, you need to start doing it in, in the next minute or two. Because if you don't, uh, blue team's just going to keep snowballing this game. Oh, Lodorone here going really eager into this rise. But here comes the boost of success. And as I suspected, that blue buff is going to go right off him and onto Lee Sin. So that, that was like bad communication because Warwick was sitting in the bush waiting, waiting, waiting. And then the second he walks away, Cassiopeia doesn't walk away too. So like <laughs> if, if Warwick's going to walk away, then uh, him and his mid laner need to be on the same page that they both walk away at the same time. And this is definitely stuff you can get away in, with in solo queue, but right here in a ranked five scene where everyone's talking to each other, everyone's trying to play together, you're... You're gonna get punished repeatedly, and it's just showing right here, right now, with a almost almost 4k gold lead at nine minutes, 47 seconds here. Where we're getting straight invaded by Elisa, who's a level above him, with a fair CS lead, and it's just gonna totally take this camp from him. Warwick oh, ulting in, infinite to rest is dropped. Here comes the Cassiopeia, here comes the Shen ult. Who's his success? Can't Ward jump out? He's gonna go really low, and Lodoron's gonna pick up a kill. <laughs> Meanwhile, bot lane. Zillion is going to body block the calling. Go really low here. Jin drops his ultimate. Here comes the four shots. I don't think they're going to get anyone low enough. And Beauties is barely going to get out. Really unfortunate that Beauties is still level five. Yeah, because the ultimate there, I don't think it would have changed the fight, but it would have made it a hell of a lot. <laughs> All right. I'm really happy that uh, Warwick finally got an ult off and that was a kill. So next that time you're really nice. up, just go and get another kill. I mean, and that was just a egregious misplay by Boost. I think you just Warwick, was really don't go too top. aggressive. Don't go top, Warwick. You're just. You're... It was really, it was really too aggressive by him to try and do that, and uh, he paid for it. He was yep. sitting in the jungle for way too long. Once he got the damage down on Warwick, maybe still Warwick, can't. Don't Flash in this. here by Spencer, going underneath the tower, gets petrifying gaze, gets the damage drop down on him, and Spencer falls, getting totally outplayed by Cassiopeia. Warwick trying to go in on top lane, gets a tentacle to the face. Finn says, get out of my lane. Please, one thing you one Warwick. thing you cannot do is gank and allow me that's ahead. Please, Warwick, listen to me. Never go top lane for the rest of the game. Just go bot lane. <laughs> Rick, Rick here, the coach, trying to help you out. I like to talk about the game here more than Warwick's play, though. <laughs> Try to get that back on it. I know we've talked a lot about his in inefficiency in the jungle. I know that's your main. No, but... no, I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Red also, as well as. Yeah, I know that. Like, I don't want to beat up on the jungler too much. Here goes bot lane. A nice trade going out. Nice double bomb. Here comes the Lee Sin with a beautiful board flash R, and a double kill goes down in bot lane. I don't oh. think Zillion was expecting that damage. Not at all. Uh, didn't get that ult off. No, die with all. Here comes the infinite to rest into a 3v1. Gets exhausted. Leeson going really low. Warwick goes even lower. He's forced to flash out. Got out. Uh, I mean, I, li I like the initiative there. I think if he didn't get exhausted, he would have got a kill. But also, Lowy falling underneath Warwick. tower here. Has no mana. Going really low here. Shen flashes forward to get the last auto attack. And Warwick uh, falls to rise. And dies there. Uh, did you see what happened there, Rick? Uh, Warwick was at like four bars of health and he Here comes decided. the Rise Ultimate. They're going almost in under the turret. She's double snared down. Here comes the damage. Here comes the Lee Sin. The Q lands. Boost of success picks up another kill. Jin ult, Jin ult. Here comes the Jin ult. 
He flies out to a ward. Brian oh, trying to find his is, target. Gets one is, tap. The Deathfire is. touch is sticking oh. down. And the Karma E is going to save him from the DOT. Then next time, please shove the uh, top lane all the way to tower. Fortunately, uh, you're not going to get zoned here, but you will lose your tower. Yeah. Uh, looks like he tried to shove, and I think Furious Purpose just teleported back in. Well, he, he, uh, he spent a couple seconds, like about 10, killing off um, the tentacles that uh. were uh, passively <laughs> in lane. So if he would have killed the minions first and then killed the tentacles afterwards. That would have been smarter. Definitely smarter. He could have teleported to a tentacle, but still very good. So yeah, a couple really... I guess Alawi said that she uh, lagged into the tower or something. Um, but a couple sloppy plays by uh, blue team here. That is unfortunate. Um, I really like to see an in using using uh, in a Jin using his ease not on minion waves unless he's trying to push him like he was now. But so far he hasn't been able to utilize any. Oh, big fight going down top lane. I'm burglar going really low to this Alawi, but she gets ultimate rest on by Warwick. Here comes the Shen Alti. Both are falling really low. Alawi finally that, falls, and they get out by the skin of their teeth. That taunt, though. That was... That Holy was cow. Amazing. Well played on the taunt. Beauty drops the ultimate on herself, but this leaves Jin open to get Ward Jump 2, Dragon Kicked, and Q to death. And Ryze is just here to pick up some CS, make sure the kill went down, but that was all decent. So they get a good kill top lane, but then they trade again. Bottom lane just not getting any attention, not getting any help. They're just getting roamed on and and just destroyed. Like they're putting a lot of focus on Alawi, and that's that's nice. They're getting they are getting kills, so they're executing how they need to be. But Alawi's just going to get more tanky and be harder to kill. So I want to see that focus come to. Bottom. Here comes another Rise Alti into the mid lane, right in front of the tower. Cassiopeia gets a triple petrifying gaze, but she gets cute, she gets snared down, and she's gonna barely get out with her life. Nice. Really spicy teleports coming in here. This is my favorite part of Rise, is watching that ultimate fall, because it's just so <laughs> damn exciting. <laughs> You're like, where's it gonna go? Are they gonna take it? Are they not can gonna they, take can it? They, can they teleport um, with their back turn to Cassiopeia? But yes, they can, actually. Yes, they can. <laughs> Um, it maybe, will teleport maybe, you in exactly uh, the fashion you're facing. Maybe, maybe they should uh, try that blue, next time. Blue should try that. <laughs> they <laughs> all be really have good. their back turn as they come in. <laughs> their ult. And just make her super sad. Because if that happened, she would have been definitely died. Yeah. So that's what I'd be talking about in the blue team right now. 9 to 4 here at 15 minutes, 30 seconds in with a uh, 7k gold lead. So again, who, who's squishy on the other team? Lucian squishy. Arma squishy. Let's kill those two champions. You gotta look for easy kills. Once again, Rise has a lot of health here. He has his row completed. Lee Sin, while fairly squishy, uh, does have a lot of items in that safeguard. Yeah, just a little bit. Just and he has a lot of mobility. A lot of mobility. Yeah, that's the annoying thing. And at this point, he's got a couple points in that safeguard, and it. it it has a surprising amount. It goes up from like 40 to right up to like 100. Karma here dropping her big empowered E here. Not a lot of people are going to take damage here. They're going to go into this fight though. Holmes ults in onto the Lee Sin, gets exhausted. And does he, he gets actually a zillion ults it. Gets back up and Lee Sin cues him in the face. Sorry, I lost track of what happened there. Culling dropped on Cassiopeia. She's snared. It's not going to complete. Shen's going to eat up the rest of it. Yum. He's pretty tanky now, too. While he is 50 CS down, at least he has a Sunfire completed. Meanwhile, bot lane. All right, so here's another example of uh, where you're trying to take that tower, but you don't stop the minions. And so the minions are starting to kill your minions. And now you have to clear an entire wave before you get back on that tower. Please, Savage, at least kill the tower. Oh, no. You're dead. And Rise. Rise here just going to do all the Rise damage in the world. And goodbye. Savage, you're gonna die, so just kill the tower, please. It's definitely a play that you need to make as the ADC to just, hey, I'm, I'm already dead, I need to recognize this, I'm just gonna take this tower and, and get out. But, well, I mean, you're not gonna get out, but at least you get the tower. Or at least, I mean, get out with some gold. Poor yeah, phrasing right now. Um, but yeah, if he would have stepped past the tower, he would have killed, he would have gotten the tower like maybe 10, 15 seconds sooner. And maybe in, with those 10 seconds, he could have gotten out afterwards. Definitely might have saved his life. Um, definitely might have saved his life. <laughs> I'd almost go so far as to say it positively, but uh, 
definitely things looking grim here for Team Salt City Academy. They're kind of they're just kind of getting out rotated. They're, they're not looking in sync right now. Trying to pick up scraps Ooh, here. Cassio Pio petrifying gaze. Misses the Lee Sin here, and they're gonna just sit here and DPS down the tower. One bomb falls, the next one misses. I think Cassiopeia portal did. No, no, she altered the correct way, just Lee Sin was attack moving, and uh, he just had him to turn away at that time. Alright. I don't know if he was looking for it, or... It also, it also didn't do, like, any damage. Uh, oh. Here they go, looking for this Zilawi. They do not have a Petrifying Gaze here. This is a little scary. She's gonna take some tower aggro. Pull out a soul, get a three-man tentacle ulti. A lot of damage going down. Shen here is just gonna sit right in the tentacles and shield his Cassiopeia. But she is oom um, midway through that fight, and they are not gonna be able to kill. Oh, I, I do not like them going into that fight with two under-farmed, under-item... And Itemized characters. Yeah, and low mana. That's the kicker, really. Oh no, here comes Ryzen again behind Savage X2. He has no idea. The three man gang comes in. They insect him right back into his tower, but they don't care. Here comes the Woolworth with the infinite to rest, and he takes out Karma. They Yay. trade one for one. <laughs> got, that's, that's we got one. Warwick. That's my Warwick right there. That's Warwick. There's your boy getting his first kill of the game. Oh, Beauty's here. They're plat to support. Trying, trying desperately. I don't know what she's trying to do. <sighs> I just want to see one time <laughs> where those two people work together. <laughs> I maybe it'll happen. Maybe it'll have. Maybe the teamwork will come out. But usually quit, it doesn't. Quit focusing on the Alawi. Focus entirely on Lucian and Karma because those two people are squishy. Lucian here. It's both parts of his black cleaver, but not the whole thing yet. Jen here trying to pick up some Merc Treads. Itemization here, we've got your Warwick going right into a Blade of the Ruin for a second. So just getting that damage, getting that lifesteal. So like, what I would like to see is maybe four man engage on Lucian Karma, and then Shen ult in, it's maybe a 5v4, and then they win that fight, and Shen teleports back top to stop Alawi. That would be... He goes the Baron call at 20 minutes and 15 seconds by Dream Fucking Team to 13 to 5 here with the pretty, pretty big gold lead. And there's no vision on here. There's really no idea. Warwick now knows. And here comes the four man clash. Once again, Cassio is ult in ultimate. Ult here comes the last one. And this <laughs> Shen steals Baron Nashor. Let's go! I'm Burglar with the big steal coming through for his team. He dies for it, but he doesn't care. He's the hero Save that got the needs. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, and Mid Tower? And Mid Tower? Lucian and Team Salt them. City Academy. They're all gonna recall. They're all disheartened. They're all tilted. We just lost. <laughs> we just lost Baron to his Shen. The mid Tower looks like it's gonna go down here to a nice sized Baron wave, along right, with just, four members. Just run away afterwards, please, Red. Oh, yeah. Run away. They, need, run away. they need to flee. Because Ryan they... is just gonna ult in, and you're all gonna die. All right, here they go. Moving as a squad. Here comes some synergy. Looking to clear yeah, up a little bit of a camp. They're rotating tower. all the way down for this get bot that tower. Get tower that Jin left up. <laughs> <laughs> this is really nice. I'd and love to see them team, just... Blue team just push straight up mid right now. Just push straight up mid. I don't really? know. I guess with Baron, red team could like run it all the way down for a Blue tier two. Oh, here comes the rape push. Ooh. Very nice. Double bomb landed That's on Karma. Cool. Infinite Duress goes down. The flashes follow and shut down. On to rise. Look what happens when the four man squad hangs out together. Really nice. Here goes Synergy. Here comes that, that thing you wanted. Minus <laughs> it. <laughs> the thing you wanted. The thing you were calling for. Really nice play by Red Team. Here's a good switch of momentum. They've they've closed that gap by now only 6k. So they, yeah. they just got that was the 3k Baron play. They took Baron, they took part of a wolf camp, they got some waves, they got two towers. They were down almost 10k, so arguably yeah. a 4k Baron Argu swing. Argu 4K and, and it's not over yet. And it's not over yet. No, they still have one more recall, a buy here, which is the most important thing. Because now this gold that you just converted for your team is going to turn into items. Yeah, that's right? nice. And now you're all full health, all full mana. You're still lacking some ultimates, but you can maybe make something happen. Yeah, I'd probably wait for Warwick's ultimate to come back up. Oh yeah. Just, just hang out. 
I'd love to have all of them here. I might have all five people rotate up top just to like maybe just to get scare, all your otter towers. Scare allow me from walking away from that tower and then get that tower. I'd like to see it because there's no dragon for a minute forty, right? So, and there's a huge wave up there, so that means hey, we can grab this tower for free. What? Here comes the Jin ulti going on to Karma. I'm not sure oh, if he's gonna hit any to nobody. Any shots? Um, Alright, so I'm a little bit unhappy right now because I think red team's kind of wasting time, but. Um, I definitely don't think that was an optimal use of A, the Jin ultimate, or B, their time. I think the rotation toward top tower would have been the better play here, because there is no dragon on the other side of the map. Now, if they, let's say they, they're not going to probably get this tower, because there's two, Dude, I, three, I don't four members see hanging around. Like, actually hitting this tower. I want to see, like, mid and 80 hit tower war crushes at LBU. And here they get kind of, they get pushed off this tower, and they're really not confident in just a 4v4 straight up right now, because there's still a substantial amount of gold down. Well, especially not under tower. No. And now now here they're going to have the dragon popping. So this is another uh, a macro play that I dislike by them, because so, now, now now you can't even go topside because you're going to lose dragon. Now there's while, a huge wave pushing about bottom. While um, they had Baron, I want to see them take that Scuttle Crab on Dragon, because then they have Vision on that Dragon. That would have been really nice. Really nice Colin coming out here, forcing Lodorone really low, and he does not have Baron anymore, so this is not going to be an empowered recall Please, to get Zillian, back. Oh no, now. Zillion walking right into the dangerous red side jungle. Going to fall really low. He has the Zillion ulti on him. Warwick, Infinite Rest goes on Lee Sin. Goodbye, Jin. Oh, the members are all falling really low here. Tentacle picks up Zillion. Chen is trying to get out. He's really tanky. He's really durable. Can he go the distance? One more auto attack from Scholar. Mike takes him out of the game. Oh, oh man. Oh. And, a, and a sloppy fight here where you're lacking vision in this jungle side. So you really don't want to be in there, right? You have a few wards, but you don't you don't need to be over there. There's no objective there to defend except that top tower. And Cassie just fell really low because she just got caught by enemy members there. So you know they're over here. This is not a play that like should have taken them maybe off. All right. Oh boy! And there goes another free tower. Mid's gonna take a little bit of damage here. Bacon here, going kind of low here. Hits the petrifying gaze again. Does not turn away. Lodoron wants this one v one, but doesn't get it as four members collapse on them, and he's forced to flash out. That trade might have gone in Ryze's favor just because he has Seraphs. He has a six stack row, or full stack row. He has Negatron Cloak, while Cassio is sitting on only a Rylai Scepter here. Um, I also, I, she's got a really scattered build path too. Uh, she built Rylai's, then built Tier, then built a Lost Chapter, and then built an NLR. And Lee Sin just gonna eat all of the Jin ulti, pop a Master Emote, walk away. Whew. What are you Warwick, thinking so far of this game? Warwick, please fight the wolves. <laughs> um, that is a really nice buff to have. It's just nice to have it in, in general. Nice for beauties here to pass over the mid lane blue buff to Cassiopeia. Or the blue buff to the mid lane Cassiopeia. Oh boy, this is looking like a really one-sided game so far, except for that nice little Baron play. Hopefully they can get another steal and swing it over into another set of turrets, but... Gold lead has returned from 6k to 10k again, or just about there. So if if it goes, if this game keeps uh, going as it has been going, I don't expect to see anything different. Fortunately. I mean, they were down 10k a minute ago, and then all of a sudden they were down 6k. So they can definitely do that again. They can definitely do it again, but it's it's crawled back again to the 10k. But they need another Baron for it. So this next. Is when this Baron bombs in 45 they seconds. They need to do that, that, that play that I said. You know, yeah, I was on the other side of the map. To. You start your 4v4, and then Shin ults in, yeah. you got a 5v4. Oh, yeah. And then you uh, just teleport back to stop the Alawi push. It would be a really great play. I'm not yeah. sure if it's going to go down yet. Right War, now, Jin just... ultimate's bugged for me. I can't even see if it's up or not. It's just permanently on cooldown. Warwick, you're getting a little called out, oh, and he gets boy. destroyed. Coling drops into a point. Rise W into a Lee Sin Q, and he is just deleted off the map. And Here comes Jin with an ultimate way too late. Here comes the four shots firing down mid lane. Lee Sin's gonna not even take a lick of damage. He gets Karma Eden and uses his own safeguard on himself. 
Like these ults need to be synchronized. You need the Warwick to go in. You need the Shen to ult the Warwick. Oh yeah, they're definitely missing a few pieces of Exodia, but they dropped two pink wards over this wall, <laughs> looking to push up, and they smite the wolves themselves. So now they have vision here permanently. Alawi's splitting up here. They're kind of hovering around in this jungle, waiting for somebody hey to uh, walk in here again. Try to flank this Alawi. See what happens. Top lane's uh, pushing in slowly for red side, but it's still at a tier one tower, so I don't think blue team is really too upset about that. Roaming around now to the red side, clearing out some jungle camps. Alawi's probably just gonna post up bottom, keep pushing right up to that inhib. Clearing out the vision here. I'm really glad red team is attempting to make, uh, make mission vision happen in their own jungle, but this is a really scary place for them right now. Warwick here, fading down bottom, looking for a Lowey, and she spots him on a ward. This is just, this is so rough for them. Do oh, look at all those pinks, Warwick, yum yum. <laughs> I'd really like to see him switch over to a sweeper right now, too, because while, yes, you are lacking in vision, um, you need to get these, these really easy wards out that are just spotting you from so far away. Here's the Baron started by Dream Fucking Team. Scholar and Mike trying to tank this. Going Here a little Shen. low. Here comes, Shen. Here comes the Shen, the, the God, and they all wisely just run away. Um, I don't know if they needed to all bail out because they have a teleport from Malawi. They weren't no, necessarily. No, no. Low. I mean, stall out. Let Malawi keep pushing and then just yeah, start Baron is, again. I would start it right now. This is because... definitely the safe play. Top, top's pushing in. Shen just had to back off for Malawi, and Jin just showed top side. So this is the time to restart. All right, Juke the Shen. Taunt? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh boy, this this Baron is definitely the, the powder keg of where this next play is going to happen. It's either this or this bush right here. Cassiopeia checks with the W, gets slowed a little bit. Here comes the least in Q, it's going to connect. And he doesn't follow up on it. Oh, if there was a big time for Lee to make plays, it might have been there, but it was a little scary. Oh, Beauty's going really low here. Drops the zillion ultimate on herself. She's going to fall again. Jin tries to save her life, opens up with his ultimate, and Zillion's going to have to flash out. Cassiopeia getting caught here by Lee Sin Q, petrifying gaze, hits him in the backside, so does not stun, homicidal here, looking like a naked babe in the woods here. It's Shen ulted, a lot of damage going down on him, and he explodes before Shen can arrive, even but with the they infinite did, duress. They did the Warwick and the Shen ult together, but the other two people weren't there to do damage. No, oh, Lee Sin, oh, that really beautiful sexy. flash play over into Cassiopeia, Q's over, into Zillion flashes over, and knocks Cassiopeia into the rise. He just eats. That should be a double inhibitor. Definitely a double inhibitor, if not the game, if they get another pick. Beautiful play by Lee Sin there. Really just strutting his stuff. Used, Lee Sin, used uh, Zillion as a ward. <laughs> there goes the double inhibitor, and they're just gonna back off. Uh oh. They saved one of the inhibitors, maybe? Killed him in here. Oh wow, it's really low here. Shen catches. Rise in the taunt, but they don't have the damage to follow it up. Still looking a little scared here. Nice little hit on Bacon with that fourth shot. Here comes Warwick, running up, trying to make something happen. Doesn't have infinite to rest back yet. Eats a calling. Here comes Lee Sin Q, connects on to Shen. And they're all going to back off. Wisely. Right, Only one inhibitor up. down. Fire Dragon. Another Infernal Drake. We all like that. They're going to clear out the blue side jungle. And most likely just take this dragon. Ooh, that was a really exciting Lee Sin play. Really yeah. fun to watch. I really don't like the fact that we lost a Jin ult and a Zillion ulti, and then we still chose to get into these fights. Uh, yeah. And we were split between like red buff, between a bunch of your members. I think they just need to be more decisive and just engage when they have these opportunities. When Lowey split, just engage, have Shen ult, just go for it. Go all in. You might be able to win the fight. If Lowey's there, you're going to lose the fight. <laughs> oh yeah. 100%. Um, Lucian's got QSS, so Warwick going to ult Lucian. Uh, Warwick needs to um, probably ult Karma. And just hope that Lee Sen doesn't uh, kick him off. Here comes another Baron attempt. They're burning this stun down really fast here. Here comes the Jin ult, maybe hoping to steal. 
It's gonna get blocked out by Alawi. And there it goes. I like them calling down Vince, like, hey, you've got the bot in the hip now. We don't, you know, we you don't need you there anymore. Just come on down to Baron. Let's get this for free. And I like that, um, the Alawi body block the channel. Oh, yeah. Karma was there, too. So it was, they had, like, <laughs> unless he killed Alawi, <laughs> he had to go through Karma, too, <laughs> just in case. Here, mid lane is pushed out for them, which I do like. I'm glad that they made that move, but there is no mm. tower here, so they're just gonna walk up and take this inhibitor. Oh, and they're just slowly bleeding out Team Salt City Academy here. They've got supers pushing into the base and bot lane. Mid lane will now self push because of the supers, and they're just gonna walk up top side on this back of this really big minion wave. Well, not a really big minion wave, just a wave of minion wave pushed into the tower. Yeah, it's just, I mean, the next series, next game, Red Team just try to align your ults and just, make just, things happen as a team. Work on your synergy. This is League of Legends game played with four other people. This is a really good team comp they have here. Um, they just gotta go for it. Oh, yeah. And they I, really, I really do like Lowry's it because... Why we fought, you know, just go all in top. You yeah, got maybe all your ults up. The fight ring. The double bomb misses, though. Looks like they're just trying to wave clear, no fight. They might look for it on this next wave if they get some... Oh no, they're gonna send two people to deal with the Lowey? Yep, Warwick's down here too. Lowey here is totally fine with taking a 2v1 fight. Gets Petrifying Gaze, only drops the R on a tentacle. Gets Shen ulted, wow! And a Zillion ult, he falls on the Cassiopeia to keep her alive, but she falls to the Baron of Power Minions with a Deathfire touch. Zillion falling really low, doesn't have an ultimate. Shen dies as well to the overwhelming damage. And there goes Jin too. Lee Sin here with his GA is just so tanky. And here goes the Nexus tier. Here goes the Nexus. There goes the Flash onto Cassiopeia. And there goes the game. 26 to 7 at 34 minutes and 38 seconds. Dream fucking team taking the series in a 2-0. Whew. Well. That was. A riveting two game series or two best of three riveting two games uh going over the damage charts rise tops it with 24,749 and Lowy is very close behind him um do you have an mvp for this one rick that's tough <laughs> <laughs> I, I started to talk the last time you, you start the uh, mvp conversation this time. <sighs> I'm gonna give the MVP over to oh man, none of them really stood out. The whole team kind of just crushed him. I'm gonna give this one to yeah, I'm gonna give it to Rise. Um, while he got a lot of help to get going in mid lane, I think his ultimates were a lot of fun to watch. Uh, he output a ton of damage, and he only died twice. You know, got a good amount of gold and like, so, the most gold in the game. So I'm gonna give it to Rise. And my MVP, I, I think I was close on Rise and Lee Sen. Mm -hmm. um, their pressure map movements and everything but there was a couple of things that just stood out to me with Lee Sen um, I liked his efficiency in the jungle I liked uh, he had pretty good kill participation um, Rise has more um, Karma has more his only death was that sloppy play um, where he was stealing rates um, and then he didn't die so, the game <laughs> yeah so I, I like that um, I also like several of his flashy uh, ultimates uh, where he uh, jumps on uh, Zillion, flashes over, kicks Cassio back. So I like stuff like that. Um, so yeah. overall, I'm, I'm happy with that. He did lose the Baron to Shen, so I'm a little <laughs> bit upset about that. <laughs> so maybe, <laughs> maybe I have to nullify the MVP just because he he lost Baron to Shen. It might have been that Sunfire, that uh, <laughs> 40 magic damage. <laughs> maybe, maybe just because of that, I have to give it to Rise. <laughs> All right. There it is, bold tryhard tourney week two game between Team Salt City Academy and Dream Fucking Team. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm uh, the Week King, and uh, I'm Eliminator. Thank you for having me. Good night. Hi, everybody. This is Sharpie. Thank you so much for tuning into this tournament. If you like to, if you like what you see, we are going to be posting some more. Um, actually, probably on Saturday evening. Um, I was more than happy to stream this game, and I will be streaming the next couple of games as well. If you'd like to actually tune into more of the tournament, you can follow LoraVA at facebook.com slash groups slash L-O-R-V-A-L. Again, that's facebook.com slash groups slash L-O-R-V-A-L. 
We also have a challenge. You can follow the challenge on the rest of the other page at uh, challenge.com slash LOLRVA5S. Um, we're always happy to include new members. Please like, follow, and subscribe to me. Uh, Twitch.tv slash the purple sharpie and Twitter.tv. I mean, Twitter.com slash the purple sharpie. Uh, so happy to see everybody, and archives will be up on YouTube. Thanks, guys. See you later.